We're moving closer to November 6th and taking a look at more of Alabama's 11 amendments. Today, it's Amendment 8, a proposal to cut state lawmakers' pay. Fox News reporter Joe Salvatore has reaction from two lawmakers whom could see a pay cut if the amendment passes. <laughs> amendment 8 would remove a 61% pay raise Alabama lawmakers gave themselves back in 2007. State Rep Stephen McMillan wants to see the amendment passed despite facing a loss in pay. At this point, we don't know how much because we don't know uh, the expenses we'll be reimbursed for. Uh, at the same amount as state employees. Mobile Bay State Rep Rusty Glover estimates his pay would be reduced $6,000. The amendment proposes that lawmakers paid be tied to the state median income level, which is about $42,000, $10,000 less than the U.S. median income. I think the amendment is a little confusing. Um, it appears that legislative pay will go down to the medium household income, but for some legislators, the pay may actually increase. State Rep. Napoleon Bracey Jr. says the farther you live from Montgomery, the more you could be reimbursed for travel. As far as hotel expense and uh, travel expense, it would be a reimbursement process uh, compared to now where you would get like a, a maybe a small per diem. The amendment says legislators living within 50 miles of Montgomery will not be reimbursed for travel. All others will be reimbursed for travel outside of their district and actual expenses incurred performing official duties. We work for the citizens. This should not be our primary source of income. You know, we work for the citizens. And regardless to what the pay is, you know, we have a commitment to our districts and, and to our uh, citizens in the state of Alabama. <clears throat> Legislators work in Montgomery about 50 days a year, but work in their respective districts year-round. Bracey and Glover both say they put in at least 40 hours per week year-round. In Mobile, Joe Salvatore, Fox 10 News. Some people have suggested making deeper cuts to legislators' pay, but State Rep. Stephen McMillan said that would likely prevent many from entering politics.